Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my Speak Now merchandise. Speak Now was officially the era from start to finish where I was a full-on Swifty, so I have a lot of weird merchandise and a lot of merchandise in general. So let's get into this. First I have this mug, which I don't really know why I own this. I don't use it. I have it set up on my tailor shelf. And I just know that I bought it sometime in like 2011, so I'm considering it Speak Now merchandise. Here it is. This is my child. It is my signed Speak Now CD. It was bought in 2011 for like a hundred bucks, and it has a certificate of authenticity to say that yes, it was signed by Taylor, and this is one out of two signed things that I own from Taylor, and the only one from the Speak Now era. I do in fact own three more copies of Speak Now because I'm that person. Another standard edition and two different deluxe editions. The only way they're different is because they just look slightly different, like this one says deluxe edition on the spine and this one does not. One was bought at Target and one was bought at Walmart, so I don't know what that means, but um, yeah, that's not why I bought both of them. One of them skipped and one of them I spilled coke all over, so yeah, that was fun, but um, yeah, speak now. As you can also see on the spines, one says Deluxe Edition and one says Target Edition, so that's fun. I own both versions of the Speak Now World Tour Live. One is Standard and one is Target Edition. This one comes with more tracks and stuff, so had to get both. Technically I bought this one first and didn't realize that they had a special edition, because I'm oblivious to everything, so that's why I own both. Although, let's be real, I would have owned both anyway because I'm that person. I have this really cute Wonderstruck bracelet that looks identical to the charms that are on Wonderstruck. As you can see, they look the same. And a replacement birdcage for the bracelet. Speaking of Wonderstruck, I own both bottles of Wonderstruck and Wonderstruck Enchanted. This is sort of red era, sort of not. I decided to put it in the Speak Now era video because it's it kind of came out in 2012 before red came out and i always consider that type of time as still the previous era so i have both of these obviously they have been loved this is my favorite perfume of all time this is um still my original bottle which i don't know how i haven't gone through it yet i've been wearing it for eight years now but um yes i had the gift boxes like the one that came with the lotion and shower gel for both of those during the Speak Now era, I ordered something, some kind of merchandise, and I got this really cool thing with it, which is an official guitar pick from the Speak Now tour. This says, this guitar pick is identical to the ones used by Taylor and her band members at the 2011 Speak Now World Tour, and it is a thank you for your purchase in the Taylor Swift online store. So it has her face on it, and you know, if you look closely in pictures from Speak Now tour, you will see that she does use this kind of guitar pick. It says Speak Now 2011-2012 World Tour. So that one is one of my favorite things. I know if she didn't actually use it, it's not really used, or at least I don't think so, because it says identical, but it's still cool to own, just because like I don't think a lot of people have these, so. This is kind of an odd thing to own, but um, I still have my CoverGirl like free sample thing that they gave away at the Speak Now tour. Um, they had a bunch of these. This was whenever Taylor was a cover girl and you know this was the height of that time. So at the Speak Now tour they gave away free samples of cover girl stuff and I still have this for some reason. I don't even use it anymore. It would be gross if I still used it because this was 2011 and now it's 2019 but I still own it so. I have the Speak Now pin that has sadly gotten very yellow through the years. I don't know if it still works. I'm trying it. It does! It still lights up. I have the little Speak Now guitar pick tin and the guitar picks, which I will post a little video here for you to see them up close. They are just pictures from Fearless Era and Speak Now Era. But they're really cool. 
One thing close to my heart while we're talking about Speak Now Tour is the newspaper clipping from the day after my very first Taylor show that I attended. Swift Wow's Pittsburgh fans and a picture of her at Heinz Field. I'm so happy I have this. This is the only newspaper clipping I have from any of her shows. So I have an assortment of rubber bracelets from the Speak Now era. I have the red Speak Now bracelet, the purple Speak Now bracelet, which I own three of, but this was the one that I bought at the show. And just a black one, Taylor Swift Speak Now, and the long live one with the crown. I own two leather bracelets from the Speak Now era. This one is a purple one that I haven't opened. I'm gonna keep in the package. And this one is a black one that says Speak Now. They both say Speak Now in Taylor Swift. I have some stickers from the Speak Now era. We have the hand heart and love, love, love. Literally just um, extremely Speak Now era. These scream Speak Now era. I have the Speak Now necklace that I'm always so scared to wear because people always said that it broke easily. So I was like always very nervous to wear this but this was an official Speak Now necklace that she sold on her web store in 2011. I also have the Speak Now pin set with photos from the Speak Now album photo shoot. We have Haunted, Back to December, the band, the agency, and Lean. I have the Speak Now ornament. It says Speak Now on one side and Taylor Swift on the other, and it's still in the packaging because I don't use it talk about a throwback this is iphone skin with its speak now album cover on it for an iphone 3gs which was what i owned in 2011. Um, i also had a fearless one but i don't have that anymore this one i used the fearless one more so i just kept this one in the package and i still own this so there's that i have a shit ton of wonderstruck samples these are technically from the red era because the day red was released I went to Target and they had these on the display and I grabbed a whole like this much a whole stack of them and you know put them in my purse but technically Wonderstruck was released in Speak Now era so these are my other babies these are my CD singles from Speak Now I have Sparks Fly which was my favorite song from the era and the album I have Mean which was another one of my favorites at the time and I have The Story of Us these were all individually numbered. For Sparks Fly, I have 236. For Mean, I have 1,975. And for Story of Us, I have 1,169. These came in like CD single packages where it came with the physical CD single as well as like other little things. Like I think Sparks Fly one came with the Black Speak Now bracelet. So that type of thing. And um, I wish she still did this. I wish she did this for rep. I would have bought all of them for rep. I do really regret opening these. Um, I was a little child. I was 13 at the time. I was like, well, I want to open them and see what the CD looks like. So I opened them, but I regret it so much now. But since I opened them, I can show you guys what the CDs look like. So here's the Sparks Fly one. Here is the Mean CD. And here is the Story of Us. I have the Speak Now World Tour drawstring bag. I've had this for years, although I think she still sells it in her web store. I have the white dress poster, which I couldn't decide if this was Fearless or Speak Now, but my mind was telling me Speak Now, so here it is. I have the original light stick from the Speak Now Tour. It just says Taylor Swift, and it doesn't light up anymore, apparently. That sucks. But this was actually bought at my Speak Now Tour show. I have the Speak Now Release Week book, which I really don't know why this was released. I don't know what's so great about it. I mean, I love it because I love Speak Now, but um, it shows everything that she did the week Speak Now was released. I love the Haunted performance. Oh my god, the Psycho House and the JetBlue performance. When she performed back to December, oh my god, like I loved it. The Late Show with David Letterman, I remember watching that. I remember watching that. And the Today Show, I remember watching that live. Wow. When you're an OG fan, things like this make you very nostalgic. I have both tour books, which are in fact different. This is the one that is more common. It was like, it shows all of the 
performances in order, like Dear John and Last Kiss, Speak Now, Better Than Revenge, Back to December, Mean, etc. in order and has all of the pictures all together. And this one is, I don't believe, no, it is not 3D. This one, however, was the first edition of the Speak Now Tour book, which I bought at my show, and that's why I have it. It is 3D, it came with 3D glasses, so you could experience the photos in 3D. Um, there's different pictures in it than the other one, obviously. It's a little bit different. I think the only page that's the same is this page, but this page is 3D in this book, and um, it doesn't tell you the songs that are played in order or anything like that, but um, this one is so cool. I'm really happy that I have this one. A lot of people don't have this tour book. This is also the same. That tour book actually came with a little slip that says there would be a second edition, the official edition. It says, thanks for being one of the first to buy my 2011 Speak Now tour book. Once we've played a few more shows, we'll have another version of this book with even more concert photos. If you'd like to buy that book too, use this coupon code, which was TBOOK25, in my online store to get 25% off your purchase of the updated version. I love you, Taylor. I have Speak Now drumsticks, I'm holding them backwards, Speak Now drumsticks with her face on them and I am not opening these, these are staying in the little package forever. I have the Speak Now hat and Speak Now scarf. The hat has Taylor Swift on one side and Speak Now on the other. The scarf says Speak Now on one side and Taylor Swift on the other. And I also have the matching gloves that say Speak Now and Taylor Swift. This was the Taylor blanket I definitely used the most. There's a lot of um, like pulled out strings and stuff on this, but uh, this was my favorite thing in the whole world for a very long time until I got the new one, the King of My Heart blanket, but I do own the Speak Now blanket as well. For t-shirts for this era, I have this one, which is one of my favorites, and I wish she still sold this because, like I said in my other video, I used to wear my shirts really big, so none of these fit me anymore. But um, this was my favorite. It has the Speak Now picture on the back. This one, of course, most people own this. I think she still sells this one. It has tour dates from the Speak Now tour on the back, and this one is special to me because I wore it to Red Tour. I have the Speak Now, Help Now t-shirt. This was whenever she opened the last dress rehearsal for the Speak Now tour in Nashville, Tennessee to the public and the proceeds went to help Nashville in some way. I honestly don't remember. I just know that it was called Speak Now, Help Now and I own the t-shirt. As I said before, the CD singles came with other things and the main single came with this plain shirt that says, why you gotta be so mean. I also have this shirt that says, Taylor Swift, you are the best thing that's ever been mine, which is honestly true. For some reason, I own a bunch of cards that Taylor like designed during the Speak Now era, and um, I've never really used them, but I do own them. So there's that, this one, one of my favorites. I have lithographs from the Speak Now era, and I'm so sad because I put tape on them and I highly regret it. I am so upset at myself all the time when I think about the fact that I ruined these with tape. This one is Enchanted. This one is Back to December. I remember vividly that this was called the Leaning Chair Lithograph, so. I don't know why, I think I really wanted it at the time, and it was on my wall for a very long time, and there's tape on it, but yeah. And lastly, I have the story of us. To wrap things up, this is my Speak Now vinyl. This was the first Taylor vinyl that I owned. I love this album so much. This was my favorite album for a very long time, and this album taught me so much when I was a young, impressionable little girl. Thank you so much, Taylor for impacting my life and for making my childhood amazing. Well, that's it for Speak Now. I am probably going to film Red and 1989 separately because I have a lot of Red merchandise as well. I will see you in that video, hopefully. I hope you enjoyed seeing my merchandise. 
If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below. Tell me what you liked best. Tell me if I have anything that you've never seen before or something you really like. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!